Welcome back. By now, you already know that you are watching Artistic Tuesday. That was amazing performing arts right there with Mikali. I'm telling you, we are all the way out today. We are taking it to the top. Starting off with International Standards in Mesetua Ukoju. Anyway, now moving on to Paintbrush. We have an amazing oil painter with us in studio today. His name is Anthony Miner. Good morning, Anthony. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You're fine? Yeah, I'm good. Umepatikana kwa traffic ama? Ah, kabisa, lakini ni me make it, ni me make it. <laughs> bright yeah. and early, yeah. and we appreciate that. Thank you, thank so you. So we just jump right into you, the kind of work you do. Uh, I'm primarily a oil painter, uh, specializing in photorealism and portraits. That's, that's, that's like my main, that's what I do. When you're an artist, yeah. you really like showing off. You have these really hard words. Able to be a photorealism, <laughs> nini. Uh, basically, basically, you take a picture and now you put it in canvas with painting, painting and brush. So, but you, what you do, you really like reproduce it uh, precisely. Kileote unawana koyo photo, you do it now on canvas. All right, the same thing. Yeah. So, can you make a selfie? Then I had like food crumbs, uku. Kabisa. Always it <laughs> No, so. Okay, so now you may be the same thing. Yeah, yeah then it yeah. loses the whole aspect of yeah. realism. Yeah. But I also used to do realism then, if that is photorealism. You know, in school, how you used to dress. See, dressing can be photorealism, no? Ah, okay. Kuna kuna critics wale wane zai criticize the way what I feel, but still ni realism. Yeah. It's the same thing. The same thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um, how long have you been doing it? Uh, professionally two years, but I've been doing it for, for quite a, some time, since 2002. Since that's 2002? When, that's when I learned how to paint. Before, I had to use pencils, na chora. So, I, I have to graduate now to oil. Oil. Since, since I had like pencils, no, no, nobody is doing it like professionally. So, People who, consider, who are considered painters and artists want to do it on oil, so I had to do that now. Okay, so yeah. you felt the need to grow, that's why you moved to oils. Yeah. All right, all right. So how has it been from uh, 202 to uh, It's been challenging because uh, me, myself, I'm a self-taught artist. So I have I've had to learn, like, step by step, so I buy paints I, and I teach myself how to do it. Oh, yeah? yeah? So you've not had a mentor, <laughs> mtu nakombia pana, si hivi, ni hivi? No, no, just try on Eldera until you perfect it. So as time goes on, you get better at it. Uh, now, now you see from where you started to, to where you are, there's been growth. And people are appreciating more. And now you, you see how much far you've gone. But that's really hard because yeah. Babu, now if you are the one who's teaching yourself mm. and also the one evaluating your work, how yeah. do you know, like now, okay, well, at first it was guesswork, like in say at least there is progress. You don't have somebody else who comes and now check your work. Mostly, Utajua, you're getting there, you're getting better as people appreciate more. And the, and the critics, Zinenda Zikipungua, so that's when you know you're doing it good. You're doing it better. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about. I can't really ignore the paintings you have. Yeah. So you said it's realism. Let's yeah. start with this girl. Who's this girl? Uh, okay. Mostly because whatever I do, I pick them from newsprints, magazines, and if I come across a good a good picture, I do it. Yeah. So it's about what really attracts you. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So what was happening with the wolf? Uh, that's a dog. That's a dog. It yeah, looks like a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, okay. The dog, like how it looks, it caught me. It caught me like where it's looking and actually it captivated me and said, I'd love to put it on canvas. Clearly, it yeah. is not for everyone. All right. <laughs> so, but it's, um, okay, this is a smaller one. What, yeah. well, if from, it's what by what? That's 50 by 70 uh -huh. centimeters. 50 by 70. 50 by 70. Yeah. So how long does it take to do the 50 by 70? Uh, depending on how fast you are and your mood at the time, uh, you can do it uh, in a week, you can do it in two weeks, and it can take you forever. So this particular one, how long did it take you to do? Uh, it took me two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. All right, so there's a bigger frame in front of me. Yeah. This is uh, what by what measurements? 
That's that's a hundred by eighty. A hundred by eighty. Yeah. All right. So there's a small child bathing. Yeah. Okay. The story behind it. It was there was there was a heat wave in India. Okay. Uh, in 2015. So that that boy on the picture was actually cooling himself with a bowl of water standing on a basin during the heat wave. So I had to do it, like, like it spoke to me and I had to do it. What was it saying during that time? Uh, actually, like, you see now humanity, like, there's so much heat and that, that baby's trying to cool himself, like, and I said, I have to do that. <laughs> so that was the message you're also passing across, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it's actually very deep. I'm telling you, you really need to have an eye for art <laughs> to understand me. Like, oh, I'm to you, Mali, Afa, Anaoga, and that is it. All right, so this is probably the same, this is the same frame size. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What was in this painting? What was happening during this time? Actually, that, that's a kid. Yeah. And you can, you can tell she's being held How by... Uh, had both her parents because there's, there's, there's the hand that has like a, a, a ring, more of like uh, an engagement ring, and the other, the, the other hand looks manly. So, it, like, it was more of like celebrating that kid. Yeah. Yeah. So, and actually, I saw it and I said, I have to do that too. Speaking of which, because yeah. now there is that in the, <laughs> you've just opened a can of worms. Yeah. Uh, family wise. How is it? Do they support you in what you do? Um, not really. Okay, the support has been there, but still, they, they, you'll always find people telling you, so what really are you doing? And does it pay? So family, family will look at you like, yeah, oh, naributu time yako, so that doesn't pay, not only. Uh, we don't really understand what is happening. Then, ukiangalia in our society, yeah. artists are not that appreciated. Na, what we are doing like people think they do it for fun. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to do it for fun. Like, people can go buy an iPhone for almost 60 and everything, yeah, but they can't, they yeah. can't fork like even 10 20 to buy a painting the same amount of yeah. money it's yeah. true so speaking of price which is a very good thing because mm -hmm. these frames uh the bigger it is obviously the the more money yeah. it goes for so yeah. like this the small frame this was 50 by 50 by 70. 50 by 70. Yeah. how much would, would you sell such a piece i most mainly depends with whatever i'm working on so if it's a client's piece uh we'll 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 negotiate but if it's my pieces uh mostly i I'll, i plan to take them to a gallery first showcase them then sell them uh at the at, at the at the exhibition all right so all right. mostly my pieces are not for sale in my shop or where i work they have to be taken now to a gallery then be sold there oh yeah so yeah. if i wanted to purchase something right now you'll yeah. say no to that yeah, but we can work. We can we can talk and work it out. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're talking about art not being appreciated in Kenya. Yeah. But since 2002 until now, 2016, you, ha you can see like there's an improvement because we've had like almost the same complaints with guys who can artists who come to the show and they're like, yeah, guys don't really know what is happening. They don't actually appreciate. You don't think there is any improvement? Uh, appreciation now comes when you buy the piece and they hang on your wall and artist now uh, is, is, is comfortable saying that I've sold a piece and I've gotten something from what, for my work, yeah. All right, so you spoke about your pieces being displayed in a gallery. Yeah. What kind of platforms do you have? And which gallery is this exactly? Uh, for, for, for my work now, I haven't exhibited it. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of applying. I've applied a couple of galleries, but I haven't gotten the response. But maybe from today, I will. Yeah. And it's actually a good thing that yeah. you say that guys don't appreciate art and everything else. And there is actually no, there's less knowledge to it. Because you mentioned about galleries, and yeah. I'm like, all right, so we actually have galleries in Kenya that... Are, provide this platform for artists like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, so, they're. so far, where have you been taking your pieces of art? Uh, 
for purposes okay since i was uh, since i want to uh, i had a program like i had planned my work and i'll showcase it at this time so i wasn't i wasn't like so focused on exhibiting them currently but because i've finished uh like i wanted to do like 30 pieces specifically for exhibition first then from that response when now people know my work and my art now I start selling. Oh, so yeah, you have so 30 pieces so far? I have more than that. Okay, the more complete one. Yeah, yeah, the complete ones are, uh, I would say, average 25. 25, but so five yeah. more to go. Yeah. So, you know, you're we are wrapping up the year. So, you <laughs> yeah. better have those by yeah. 2017. Since your resolutions. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. starts right here. Yeah. All right, so what kind of challenges have you been through? Uh, challenges, uh, there are quite many. Because uh, when, when you talk to now 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 primarily now the customer uh, he'll tell you we see on a news yake to 20k na 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 mahoka like for five for high 500 but those are different things so that they have now, on the street yeah yeah now um people don't know they, they don't know the value of that yeah that's primarily the problem uh, people don't know the value and don't appreciate art. Can I tell you one thing? Right yeah. here on Life and Style, we know the value of artists and that's mm -hmm. why we have this platform for yeah. you guys to showcase each and every Tuesday. And remember to keep the conversation going on our social media platforms. It is indeed Artistic Tuesday and the hashtag to use is Katie and Life and Style. Twitter and Instagram, same handle, Katie and Life underscore Style. And Facebook is Katie and Life and Style. Remember to buy Kenyan pieces, promote them. They need to pay bills as well. And I mean, look at what we have around the studio. Amazing, amazing work for real though. You guys need to buy into all these pieces. So just look into the camera in case anyone wants to contact you and buy any of your pieces before you get accepted into the gallery. Uh, so people can follow me on Facebook. I'm at Anthony Maina Wanjohi on Facebook. I'm not on Twitter and Instagram is Anthony Maina Wanjoy. And they can still contact me on phone. My number is 0712-214-514. And the importance of art as well. They need to know that. Yeah, yeah. Tell them the importance of art. Uh, art is important. Actually, now people are appreciating art. I can say they're appreciating art because you can find art everywhere, mostly on banks, hallways. And the hotels, hotels and big hotels. Yeah, hotels is huge in that but, as well. But primarily people have to now invest in art. You should love an art piece at your house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So 2017 resolutions, you should buy a piece of art. You should have a wall hanging in your house. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Buy a Kenyan artist. Yeah. Please promote them and buy. All right. So that is all we had today, this morning on Paintbrush. And thank you very much, Anthony, for coming and thank making you, thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I hope we may have breakfast by the way. I have. have. <laughs> all right. So coming up next is Visual Arts. And we have an amazing guest host today. You don't want to go far. Stick around for that. We are taking a very short commercial break, but we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.